So Elon Musk. Um, so he said that he has FDA approval for Neuralink, which um, brain impl implants in a human. Um, and they actually uh, reported that um, chips in a human brain actually help somebody that was paralyzed yeah. take, a, take a step. Um, so that's something he posted on Instagram and I got a lot of, you know, traction. A lot crazy. of people had, you know, comments about that as far as the FDA has approved it. And, um, for the purposes of helping people with spinal cord injuries, helping people with, um, you know, those type of, uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Right. And then they've also talked about it. It could potentially help people with, um, Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. Different things. So that's like the first phase of it is to on a medical side, yeah, not just on a performance enhancement <laughs> as a regular person. Yeah. So, um, but ultimately that probably would come down the line once it's proven that's yeah. safe and, you know, but this is like the first implementation of it. So what's, what's thoughts on this? This one's scary. I know the first use cases, I thought it was amazing that the guy would be able to walk mm -hmm. with assistance. Mm -hmm. My concern is what's going to happen in phase three. Like once that trust, going back to trust, is built, and let's say it does help with Alzheimer's, does help with uh, people that, that are paralyzed, maybe have some learning disabilities, what happens in 10 years? When now you have scale, and then the nefarious intentions kind of turn the tide, and now you're now things are being done that shouldn't be done. Um, I like Elon uh, as an entrepreneur. Troubled history. If you go back to the family structure and how their wealth was gained, I don't like this at all. I'm going to go on the record and say, I think Elon is one of the brightest entrepreneurs in the last 30 years. But this idea is too close to playing God. And I don't know if the technology is in the right hands. I don't know whose hands we will be in that would be safe, but I'm very afraid of it being his hands at this time. FDA approval is interesting to me. Yes. Um, because when I'm... FDA approves for public safety and health. Mm -hmm. For drugs and food. And food, yep. Does, do those chips actually qualify as either? It's a drug. It's a drug, so technically. It, 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 it's, it's technically a chip... Yeah, but, but is it a drug? Implant it. It's a drug in the purpose of um, a medical, it's, it's helping the medical situation. So like, yeah. a, like a pacemaker would be considered in yeah. this space? Yeah, or, or nanobots. <clears throat> nanobots? Yeah, same thing. It's a, I agree. Right? I mean. No, but just like a pacemaker. Yeah, like you said. That's what I said. If, if, yeah. if, if you put a pacemaker in somebody, or if, you, if you, any of those type of things, it's. That aids in the it's health. A, it's aids in, in the issues and, of health. And that's why that's the first that's the first thing that they tried to attack. When they didn't try to go on, we're gonna make you smarter, we're yeah. gonna help you learn Spanish. It's like, yeah. let's go this route first. Yeah. Which I think is brilliant. Which actually, is smart actually brilliant. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like that's the first part of it, which is like, okay, but I, what's the next part of it? The next part is human is human evolution as far as so a, a race of superhumans, where I feel like artificial intelligence will be simultaneous with regular intelligence. It's already kind of using that. Like if you use ChatGBT, you're, you, you're using your own intelligence because you have to give ChatGBT prompts. Yeah. So you're using your own intelligence and then they're giving you artificial intelligence and then you read it and then you might want to adjust it a little bit even more. Yeah. So the next evolution of that is having a chip inside of your brain and you're using your brain capacity on a certain level and there's artificial intelligence that's being used on a certain level. Yeah. And this is the next evolution of humanity. Now, it's will dangerous. I put a chip in my brain? Probably not. My guy Mook said he'd do it. But if I was paralyzed, yeah. I would. Okay. So it's like, you know, it's it's one of these things where it's like, let's not be so quick to, because let's just be honest. Me right now, no. If I'm paralyzed, God forbid, and God bless anybody mm -hmm. that is paralyzed. But yeah, I'm probably going to take that chance because the risk reward ratio. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it, it, it's one of these things where it's tricky. Mm -hmm. It's tricky. Mm -hmm. yeah. It definitely. I mean, when I saw the the gentleman walk, and I was just like, "Wow, it's amazing!" Like the power of technology, and I get it. If and for the assistance part of it, uh, I think the 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 scary part or the tricky part, I think, is the enhancement part. Yeah. Right, because if it's if you're not doing it to assist and you're now doing it to enhance, where's like how do we draw the barrier? 
right? So like when you when you just give that example, like if I have intelligence, right? I ha- if I'm putting a chip in my brain to enhance my intelligence, mm-hmm. and also too with Elon being very strategic and getting government funded for Tesla all these years to become the no- number one electronic vehicle maker. Now he runs one of the number one media companies in the world, even though DeSantis launched his campaign there. That, that seemed like that a was, failure. That was a botch. It was, you know, botch job. If you run media, health, EV, I think it's a little bit dangerous because, like, if there's a narrative being pushed around that it isn't good later, having that much media, he can turn the ties on what, what the truth is. Because most report, there's no investigative journalism Hardly, other than like 60 Minutes. Like when you sent me um, the stuff about the Mormon church, like I haven't seen any in-depth reporting. Like I find it funny at a time when we need more factual information, they're destroying all the media companies at one time. You think like no Vice has no value to anyone? Gone. Gone. But then he emerges. Elon's smart, man. I, I Like strategically, I think he is one of the best chess players that I've seen in the last hundred years, but I'm afraid when if he gets to his sixties and turns on that evil Tony Stark brain, that we'll, we'll, we can have a few issues there. I think the first iteration of Neuralink will be, I mean, for, for people that are paralyzed and have certain conditions, yeah. it would be great. I'm worried about what happens ten years now. Like Elon is our Gates, so my question is: Would you want Bill Gates to have this information or access to Neuralink or build Neuralink right now? If the answer is no. I don't think we need this in the hands of him either at this time. Are you saying like this is the new wave, wave of brainwashing? Absolutely. Right, rather than sitting in front of the TV for hours? Yep. I now have a chip inside of your head? Well, so, I mean, and, and I own one of the biggest media platforms that can, at the same time. And Elon is not American. Everyone's, oh, you're fear-mongering. No, I'm not. Like, how did a, a non-national come in and gain all of this power? It's interesting. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who does a show with two amazing guys <laughs> and gets your tickets to Invest Fest. Maybe I ask all, Robert all, Smith what he thinks. All the above are true. Yeah. <laughs> but what do we know? My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>